Good morning, friends. Today we are looking at the Apostle Paul and his life. We know that Paul wrote most of the New Testament and that he passionately shared the gospel, lived a holy life, led, pe led people to Jesus, and lived in the victory of Jesus Christ even until the end. Just before he died, he said, I ran the race, I kept the faith. And he was encouraging people until his deathbed. I don't think Paul ever imagined that his letters and what he has done would have flooded the earth the way it is that it, it did. He just knew that the kingdom that he is part of is an eternal kingdom, and that is all. And then he loved those that was in front of him. He passionately wrote letters, should it be needed. And we are now reading one of the pieces in Romans, which he wrote. It says, for I was alive without the law once. But when the commandment came, sin revived, and I died. And the commandment which was ordained to life I found to be unto death. For sin, taking occasion by the commandment, deceived me, and by it slew me. So what Paul is saying here is that there was a time when he was alive, and that is what verse 9 says, for I was alive without the law once. So he's talking about, I believe what he's talking about here is his inner man showing forth him living a good life. But that was without the law. Now when did Paul ever live without the law? Uh, According to Jewish customs, Jewish boys are circumcised on the eighth day and they taught in the law from young. And then on 13, at the age of 13, they are declared as sons of the law. Uh, there was not a time when he was ever without the law. They boasted in the law, especially, I believe, um, you know, his, his fathers and his family would have really been all about the law and then we find that the apostle paul's life he was known as learned in the law and so forth so but he, he comes and he talks about a time when he was without the law and alive so he's basically saying that he experienced life without the law and the only time i can think of uh, when that could have been possible is after he has met with Jesus on the road to Damascus. He started to live on the basis of the resurrected Jesus and got a revelation of Jesus and so forth. And then it says here that, uh, but when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. So what he's saying is that there was a time when he was not living in this abundance of sin that he used to live in, uh, before he was alive. So before he was alive, he had some sins and he was living like just a normal person. Then he became alive in Jesus and he started to see a holy life manifest in him. And then when he became legalistic again, when the commandment came, when he started to find his identity in his flesh, the Bible says, sin revived and I died. So we talk about a revival here, but it was a revival of sin. It was sin living in him again. And what caused that? He says here, it happened when I went back under the commandment. And then he says in verse 10, he explains it. He says, and the commandment which was ordained to life, or which he thought was supposed to give life, and he's talking about the Ten Commandments here, especially the Tenth Commandment, which says you shall not desire. He says here, I found to be unto death. And now he explains the phenomena. For sin, taking its occasion by the commandment, deceived me and slew me. For sin, taking its occasion, or uh, in the Greek it says here, the starting point, taking its opportunity by the commandment, deceived me and slew me. Paul is referring back here to Adam and Eve, where uh, Eve was deceived and then basically killed uh, by being given something that can destroy her life. She was being deceived into eating something that's deadly. 
today if we deceive somebody to eat something that's deadly, we will be called murderers and we will say that person was killed or slew, uh, slain by a deceiver. And here Paul comes and he says the same thing. He uses the same language. He says, sin revived and I died when I became legalistic. So Paul says that in his flesh, in his own ability to do everything right, is nothing good or he cannot do it by himself. But he does find that he could live a holy life when he just focused on the love and the goodness and the mercy and the grace of God. If you go and read through all of Romans 7, he goes on and he says, who will deliver me from this body of death? And what he's talking about is not leaving his physical body, but what he's talking about is who will deliver this body from its death? And then we thank God through Jesus Christ who was raised from the dead, who fixes our body as we behold his love. Now I want to conclude with this. I don't want to make it complicated. But this is what Paul says. I was alive without the law, but be when I became legalistic, I, the apostle Paul, the great man of God, found that sin revived in me. And I came to the conclusion that a human and the laws of the Bible unto holiness doesn't work together. It's as if that law shows his sin in the flesh. It shows his inability. But there is a cure for man for that, and that is to look at Jesus and his death and resurrection and simply believe that he will bring forth and gives holiness as a gift. I trust that this message helps you to meditate on the goodness of God and make your own study. Uh, go and read for yourself or simply just pray and say, Lord, I would also like to understand these things in depth. Thank you that you revealed this to me. Or you can, if you don't even want to do that, you can just say, Lord, just show me how much you love me and let me walk in that. And that will be more than enough for you to experience the fruit of the Spirit. God bless.